Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday night. Time for the energy focus for the week. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio, and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in and join me. I am on location. Yes, I just kind of took off. And I kind of apologize. I know my schedule's been a little crazy these last two weeks, but I've actually been taking some time for me just to kind of change it up, do some healing, working on getting rid of all that excess energy. And so, yeah, I've been just all over the place. Today actually was a beautiful day. I was at a sweat lodge up here outside of Nashville. My medicine, really, my medicine. Thanks, Thelma. I feel like I've just been all over the place. But yes, I'm gonna get back to routine really soon. But the thing is, is that I've actually taken some time for me and really gone deep within, looking at all of this energy that I've been talking about and trying to find ways to break the habits, to get out of my own way. Beautiful sweat lodge today up here at um, outside of Nashville with Brent and Ted and just a whole beautiful group of people just really praying and sitting with Mother Earth. And it's my medicine. It just makes me feel so good just to really kind of let all that stuff go to sweat and to cry and to breathe the smoke of Mother Earth and to feel the earth underneath. The ground was cold, the water was beautiful. So yeah, here I am just taking a little bit of a side trip and getting out of my own way and doing something different and really kind of asking the universe for guidance to help me find that next path that's ahead of me and really opening up to a lot of the energy that's going on for me personally which is just a really different time of year for me, right? For all of us, right? We're in transition, moving out of summer, I mean, moving out of spring into summer, and really time to kind of refocus our energy, really kind of refocus. So yeah, come on in, thanks for joining me. Hey, Laura, I see a lot of people coming in. Yay, I have, I'm so glad you're here. I'm not even sure if I've posted everything right. I'm a little spacey and I'm in a hotel, I'm at the Westin, top floor, kind of overlooking the city. Got a little crazy outside, so I had to come in. A lot of people, beautiful day, beautiful energy, just really feeling refreshed. How about for you guys? What's going on? What are you noticing about the energy right now? Can you tell we're moving through a transition of seasons? Can you tell that for yourself? And what is it that you need to do to move out of spring into summer? All right, this week we're gonna have kind of an interesting week, nothing major going on. It's just that we do have lots of void of courses with the moon, all right? So we're going to feel a little bit like, hmm, indecision, wanting to get stuff done, but kind of really just kind of reflect on where you are, where you are in this transition of seasons. Really important that we look at it. It's kind of like we look at how much have you planted for the spring, all right? Did you overdo it? Did you put too much out there? And that's really kind of what you're going to be asked to do. Don't make any major decisions this week. We've got some Neptune energy coming in as well. A little bit of Mars going retrograde, all this stuff. So what does it mean? The vibrations that come in, the way that we look at ourselves and our past. Some of this can feel a little disruptive this week. Nothing really major, but just kind of reflect as we go through to change. I'm trying to find this, I can share it. As we go through to change seasons, what do you need to do to clean up your own energy? That's kind of what we're looking at right now. What is it you need to do? Hmm, I wonder if I put this on my Terry page. All right, I can't find it. So if you see this... There we go, there we go. Share it out for me, all right? When you're on location, sometimes it's hard to do. All right, here we go, I'm gonna share it out, and then I'll get back. I've got some great cards, some great ideas to look forward to. Here we go, here, in the Empowered Spirit Circle, come on over to Facebook and join us in there. We have some fun stuff always going on, people commenting and posting. One more share and I'm gonna be done. Yeah, don't you just love this? All right, here we go. Share over on my page, Natural Forces Studio. If you haven't liked it, give me a like. All right, here we go. So lots of great things this weekend. It was also the Gem and Mineral Show. I've been seeing people posting their gems and minerals. Really fun, right? We've got a lot of great vibrations out there coming in, bringing those in. I know I got some fun stuff, and everybody out there is hot. Another beautiful, gorgeous day. A lot of this humidity in the south is picking up. All right, so as we move through the transitions of seasons, that's kind of where we're gonna focus on these next two weeks, right? We're gonna feel a little hotter, we're gonna to have to change our diet, right? We're gonna drop into the element of the south, into the element of fire, so some of that passion and desire, all that energy. So really this week is a great opportunity to clean it up, clean up your work, do a little weeding, so to speak, whether it's in your garden or in your life, all right? That's kind of what I've been focusing on this weekend, is just letting go 
all that excess energy, like picking the weeds, all right? So that's a really good time this week. Not a good time to make any major decisions, but really a time to bring your energy back into balance with who you are and what your path is. A great time to take that opportunity. As we come through that season, right? Look at it. Where have I gone off stray? Where have I kind of mixed the picture, whatever it is for you, and bring it back in? Because then you can move into the next healing so much stronger and so much better. So that's what I offer you this week as you go to focus the energy coming up for you. All right, we've got some really great cards. This week on the Empowered Spirit Show, guess what? I've got Teresa Brooks on. Yes, yeah, she's talking about handwriting. I got her on. I know I had mentioned it last week. And she said she would come on. So really fantastic interview. Really lots of information. She talked about we'd laugh. We talked about it. She was looking at my handwriting, which has changed. But it's really helped me to uncover a lot of that energy. Very healing. And so she's really great talking about your L's and your I's and your loops and your dotting your T's and crossing your I's. I mean, crossing your I's. Crossing your T's and dotting your I's. All right? That's what I mean. So yeah, very interesting coming up this week and how really even looking at that for me, as I've been talking about the energy of resentment that's been inside of me, I do feel it unwinding. I do feel it letting go. Some of what I left at the sweat lodge today. All right, so check that out. It'll drop on Wednesday. All right, so let's just take a moment. I'm not going to be on too long today. I'm in a hotel. Kind of strange here all around. It's busy. It's beautiful, though. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale. And just call in your spiritual body. All right, call it back. Inhaling. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out, let it go. Feel yourself centering, feel the spiritual body aligning with the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips. Call back that energy. Call it in as you honor where you are right now. As we tap in, call in your higher guidance. Call in your guides. Call in your angels. Ask to be guided and protected as you move through this week. As we move through the end of one season and open up to a new one. Summers are fun, summers of passion. What can you do to shift that energy for you? Take a deep inhale. <sighs> Feel yourself centering the energy from all that running around. So we honor the directions. So we honor great spirit, divine guidance we call in. Honor the east, the south, the west, and the north, above you, below you, right into the very center, opening the heart, opening out into the universe. Inhaling, calling in, feeling that alignment, pulling back all your energy from the week. As you focus with Mother Earth, feel her underneath you. Focus that breath. Focus your path. Inhaling. Coming into alignment, exhaling out. One more breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing that awareness back, coming back, take a nice deep inhale. Yeah, bring that awareness back. All right, so one of the things I do talk about, and then we're gonna look to the cards, is changing up your altar, changing up your spiritual practice for the summer, all right? So if you don't know how to start a spiritual practice and want a guide, I've got a brand new one, put hashtag spiritual practice in the notes below and I will be happy to send you my five simple steps for setting up your spiritual practice. And I'll even include a little bit of extra for the summertime. So put that in the notes below. Also share this out with somebody you know that may need some extra help. All right, so I'm back to, I'm still studying my shaman cards, but I couldn't bring everything, all right? Trying to learn to travel light. I'm back to my wild unknown. I've chosen four cards. The first card is a universal card for all of us, and the three are one, two, and three. So if you didn't choose something, go ahead and pick it now. All right, so the universal card for all of us, I love this, is the Six of Swords. So this is a card of, like, hope. This is a card of, like, traveling to a safer place. I love this because it even suggests in this deck, like, get away for the weekend, which is, hello, what I did. So I thought that was really perfect alignment. So when we can let this go and let the energy rise up, look at the beautiful rainbow. So there is calmer waters out there. Don't get despaired. Don't lose your hope. All right? Really, if you're doing some healing, even like I am, like, do the healing. It's okay. Because then all of that will settle down. You'll find a more peaceful environment. And that's where the rainbow is for all of us. All right? So this is for all of us. So the way in which we are influenced and how we can get there is if you chose card one. 
All right, card one is the Son of Pentacles. All right, this is about being really kind of steadfast, do your work, ground with Mother Earth. Now, the only thing that kind of warns against in this card to remind you is not to be too stubborn. All right, don't hold on too tight. But it is a good idea to really kind of ground with Mother Earth. I know that's how I felt after the sweat lodge today. I felt so good. I felt so in my body, so grounded. And that's what this card can suggest. All right, look to the details, look to the grounding of the earth, be strong, be steadfast, but don't be too stubborn. All right, and that's going to help you find the ability to transition into a more miracle energy, knowing that there's hope there and a more calmer existence. I know I need that. All right, the next card is, and this is one of my favorites, not really, but I love the way it looks, the Ten of Swords. Arr! right all this stuff is done this mental chatter of the mind all this melodrama all this stuff let it be done all right if there's something that's been churning in your mind over and over and over it's time to put it to rest all right and as you put it to rest what's going to happen the rainbow the hope the miracles of your life will come forward so if you're wondering how to do it and you've got number two as your choice done put that mental plane to rest let it go be done with the drama get out of your own way all right, I think we all know what that means, all right? <laughs> I know I do. All right, if you uh, chose card three, Ace of Wands. All right, new beginning, new in that passion and desire is perfect for the summer. Look at the colors. Look at that bright energy. Look at the growth on that wand. All right, a perfect opportunity to bring something new forward. Just don't make any decisions about it. But know that there is a lot of inspiration underneath the surface. Know there is a lot of new passion coming forward so that you can find this for yourself, all right? Be inspired, really. If you find yourself in like the old energy of that depressed energy, that's what this is about. Get out of your own way. Go away. Change your habit. Even a vacation within yourself, right? Really important. I know for me it really helps, and that's one of the things I wanted to start on these past two weeks because I could is just like open the energy up. Let it go. Change your habit. Go a different way. Drive a different way. Don't sit in the same seat. Like move it and change it and stretch it around. And that's going to how you're going to shift your energy and open up to this new season. Really a beautiful time to really come back into alignment, make changes in your life, change your diet. We always need that from spring to summer. Not as big a change as winter to spring, but a good time to start eating lighter and the fresh fruits. Really a good time. Fresh teas, stuff like that. Really good to do that. So look to this week for where you can do those things in your own life, where you can change it up. Again, if you want some help on your spiritual practice, put hashtag spiritual practice. I'll send you my guide. Five simple steps to setting up your own practice. Really important. Shift the energy. Move it around. Clean it up. Add in some of those fire elements for the summer, right? That's what we're going to be talking about. We'll be doing a summer solstice over at Birmingham Yoga. June 20th, few weeks away. Not too far. Wednesdays at 6. And some of my students from the Empowered Spirit Circle. What is it called? The Spiritual Development Leadership Training. Reiki Masters will be joining me as well, offering. So come on down to Birmingham Yoga if you're local. All right, any questions, let me know. I kind of went on the wrong page, that's okay. All right, guys, hello there. Hey, Millie, how are you? Hey, Catherine, good for you. How's your walks? Hey, Lori. All right, Barbara, David. All right, I got some interesting people because I came on my normal page. Didn't do it right on Facebook, oh well. All right, guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and join this beautiful different location as to where I am, back to the roof outside and just kind of take it in, do a little brain dump for Sunday night. Maybe you can do the same. Get it out of here. Get it on paper. Watch your handwriting. Check out the Empowered Spirit Show on Wednesday. It drops all about handwriting. Really fascinating. Really, really fascinating. We laugh. We have fun. She's really great, Teresa Brooks. All right, let me know if you have any questions. If you want that guide, let me know. Be sure to share this with somebody and find me on the Empowered Spirit Show or over at Natural Forces Studio inside Birmingham Yoga or online. All right, guys, I'm going to go have some more fun as I change it up and prepare for this beautiful new season ahead. I offer you the same thing to your spirit. Namaste.